At five, the changing furniture industry claiming a big victim in our state. Art Van announcing that it will close all of its stores. There are several spread out across West Michigan, employing hundreds of people. Seven Art Van stores and six Pure Sleep stores. Liquidation sales, they start tomorrow. Those closures and decades of memories since the first store opened up on Gratiot Avenue in Detroit in 1959. We have team coverage. Lindsay McComel is looking at the impact the store has had on West Michigan. But we start live with Donovan Long at the 28th Street store in Grand Rapids. Donovan. Brian and Sue, the announced closure caught several people who shop here by surprise. Many of them telling me they've been using Art Van to furnish their homes for decades. I do not like that. The days when Artie Fry could spend hours at Art Van Furniture are coming to an end. How long have you been You're shopping here? kidding. Oh my gosh. Well, as long as it's been here. A spokesperson for Art Van says the company will close its doors for good. The reason? Financial troubles and an inability to keep up with a challenging retail environment. This is a very sad day for our fan in the state of Michigan. For decades, we have, you know, been in people's homes, and now we won't be. The closure is impacting 3,100 employees and countless customers like Fry. I don't even know what to say. That is so sad. I got a lot of my adult furniture here. <laughs> Kim Livingston may be getting more. As it becomes a thing of the past, Art Van stores will hold a liquidation sale starting tomorrow, giving customers a final chance to shop. Do you think you'll be back for that? Oh, uh, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe in some new, like, patio furniture. As memories of Art Van start blowing in the wind, shoppers reflect on the company's influence on them and their homes. I love the furniture. Art Van Furniture operates 200 stores in several Midwest cities and states and in Iowa, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and in Maryland. Now, the man who founded this company has passed away two years ago. He was a huge pillar in this community. Live in Grand Rapids, Donovan Long, News 8. Donovan, thank you. In addition to stores around the state, Art Van invested into West Michigan projects. News 8's Lindsay McComel continuing our team coverage now with a look at the company's philanthropic impact. Brian and Sue, everyone looks forward, of course, to the Art Van Santa Parade in Grand Rapids during the holidays. The company also has naming rights to the Art Van Sports Complex in Plainfield Township. It's not yet clear what will happen to both staples of West Michigan. For 10 years, Art Van has sponsored the Santa Parade, which kickstarts the holiday season for the Grand Rapids area. Let's hear it, Grand Rapids! News 8 has had the privilege of broadcasting the spirit injected into Monroe Avenue downtown every year. The Grand Rapids JCs has organized the West Michigan tradition for an entire century, but Art Van joined as a title sponsor in 2010 to bring even more holiday spirit to the event. Then in 2014, the furniture company entered into a naming rights partnership with the West Michigan Sports Commission for the Art Van Sports Complex in Plainfield Township. When the family owned it uh, was when we engaged in uh, having them come aboard, uh, they had been doing some work in Western Michigan and connecting with community and, and, and really uh, saw this as another opportunity to be uh, present in West Michigan. Sports Commission President Mike Gusweiler told News 8 it's not yet clear what the closure means. First of all, we got to see where our agreement goes with our bank furniture in light of uh, their bankruptcy and, and liquidation. and. Uh, and, and once we determine that, you know, then we'll we'll start to you know make some determinations on where we move forward. Um, the complex itself, uh, again, it's positioned for a very strong year. It won't be impacted by um, Art Band's current decision and and where they're headed. Um, and you know, again, it, it's. A complex that's an asset in the community and, uh, you know, should we be in, in search for another naming rights partner, uh, it's something our board will uh, determine and that will make steps to, you know, move forward towards. 
Now, I did reach out to the JCs today about the impact this could have on the parade. Unfortunately, I have not heard back yet. Gus Weiler did not think it would be appropriate to share how much Art Van invested into the sports complex. So we do have a request into Art Van, the company itself. We have not received a response to that either. Sue.